Today we're cruising the Berg with Mike Bittner, famous local <laughs> resident between Frontenac and Pittsburgh. And Mike, thanks for taking time today. Glad to do it. I'm not famous. You, you will be. <laughs> when we're uh, done here. Right? <laughs> A lot of good things that you can do. You know, a lot of help me with my family and our cars and our mowers. And so we thought it's time to drive around yeah. and just let you talk a little bit about who you are, who your family is, and, and uh, you know, maybe drive me by some of your old haunts. Okay, we can do that. I guess we'll start with my parents and grandparents. My, my grandparents uh, moved here from Kentucky. Uh, my maternal grandparents lived here. Their Cassis is our last name. My actually, my grandmother's sister, my great aunt is still alive. She's 101. Oh, nice. Lives here in town. 101 in Pittsburgh. Yep. Uh, her name's June Nelson. Their, again, their maiden name was McKee or uh, Cassie. And when did she get here? Uh, they they lived here almost all their life. Oh, in wow. this area. So. 100 years. Yeah. And uh, so in my, my grandfather's name was Joe Bittner. He was a pipe fitter and a welder, welder, you know, pipe fitter. He did, uh, when he was in town, he traveled some. When he was in town, he would uh, do mechanic work in this shop I'm going to show you back here. I have two girls, uh, both of them pharmacists. Both of them pharmacists. Both of them pharmacists. Uh, they live in, uh, in Springfield. One of my oldest one lives in Springfield. She's an ER pharmacist there at Cox South. And my youngest lives in Frontenac. And, uh, is a pharmacist, ER pharmacist at uh, Freeman. Nice. So her husband uh, is uh, Lyman for Evergy. Yep. And then uh, they have a we have a grandbaby with them, Steel. Funnest thing ever. His name's Steel? His name is Steel. Uh, I like that. Steel Stanley. Steel Michael Stanley is his name. So that's fun. Grandkids are great. That's, but like I said, best thing ever. Well, the family well. business? How did you get into I mean, you, you, you know, kind of all things cars, right? Yeah. You, 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 you fix them up, you race them, you sell them. I mean, yeah. where'd yeah. all that come from? Mostly my dad. My grandfather had some race cars, too. I should have showed you some pictures in my office. of My grandfather had a car, and that's when we got my dad started. Uh, my grandfather died young. He, he had a, a stroke when he was 51. So my dad kind of took over that shop and was working uh, uh, at a local dealership. The place is kind of run down, but I'll show you where he grew up. So he kind of got his start at the dealership kind of around right, ours. Right. A guy named Bill Lemon. Bill Lemon. Quincy and Brock. Quincy and Brock. Ruth Lemon up Her husband. Wall. Yeah. She was a mayor right. back in the day. And, right. And, and my dad quit school when he was 14 and went to work for Bill. 14. At Quincy and Broadway. And he quit school because they wouldn't let him drive his car to school because he wasn't old enough. He had a car. Because <laughs> he's already working for Bill anyhow. So. This is a garage my grandfather worked out of. Oh, this really? This is where my dad grew up, right here in this house here. It's a rental now, but it's uh, you know, kind of run down from what it was. But uh, yeah. it's uh, that's where he grew up, right here, right here in Pittsburgh, his whole life. Uh, and the garage is right there. The garage is right there. Yep. He actually, him and another guy named Doyle Snyder, built some race cars in that same garage. So they raced all yeah. the way back then. Oh that yeah. Was their thing. Right. Where did they race at? Uh, Fort Scott, and then six, 69 Speedway here at. Uh, in where the Home Depot is now. So Home Depot used to be a it's, raceway. Used to be a dirt track, 69 Speedway. Just a straight? Just a dirt track. Oh, it was an oval? Circled over dirt track. Oh, wow. Quarter mile dirt track. And uh, How often do they race in a place like that? Weekly. <laughs> That's awesome. It was, it was pretty cool. We have to get that going again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at that, it's kind of in a you bowl. You see the bowl? Yeah. And uh, my dad and Doyle actually ran that track for a couple of years as a pr a promoters. And then, you know, eventually uh, uh, Gibson's or one of the companies, I think it was Gibson's, bought that. And that's when it started, yeah, it started to get developed. And how did you get into a dealership? Uh, what came first, the racing and then? Uh, the 
Well, with me, my dad, he worked for Bill Lemon right here where the McDonald's is. Okay. He uh, worked for Bill from the time he was 14 until 1972. And Bill retired, my dad went on his own. And he had a, he was on 4th Street for one year, 1972. In 1973, he bought the place there at 11th and Broadway where we are now. Well, I went to work for him after school I was still in high school, after school in the summers, right. and working for him. So probably, I was probably 16 years old when I sold my first car working for off him. Off the lot. Off the lot, working for him. Uh, what does one get for selling a car off the lot back in? Back in that day, I didn't get anything because he my <laughs> boss. Was it. Yeah, I was a kid, <laughs> yeah. I sold I sold a couple that first summer. <laughs> I wasn't getting a dime, but I, you know. That's all right. Do it from the mortgage is getting paid at home. Right. you got a place to sleep. I have a joke we tell everybody. I said, we, we sell cars, we lose 100 apiece, but we make it up in volume. <laughs> <laughs> well. But so I worked, I worked for him from then until 97. Oh, wow. And uh, purchased a place from him then. And, uh, and we're still on it today. But, uh, it's, it's, uh, so I've actually owned it. Uh, the same amount of years. I'm, I've been left at the Broadway the same amount of years he was. 25 this year. It'll be 50 years. And, well, when did you get into the hustler business? The hustler business started, it came to me about eight years ago. Um, a guy named Ron Ware, I don't know if you know Ron, of Ron, Ron, but he had that battery mart at 20th and the bypass. So okay. batteries and, and, yeah. and lawnmowers. And, and, and he was retiring. He came to me and said, You need to take this on. And I said, I don't know, you know. And he come back the three different times. Second time, you know, I kind of pushed him off a little. I got to think about it, you know. Might pay a bill or two here, you know, and that kind of thing. And yeah. The third time he came, he came with the hustle of reps. This car, oh, tell me about the car we're in. This is a car we're in is a 2000. Ford Mustang Roush conversion, which is through Jack Roush, stage three conversion, which is a supercharged convertible. It's only got 10,000 miles on it. So what cars do you race? We, have, we run a dirt late model now. We we started off running the factory stocks in 1979. Pretty much run them till about 92. I quit for 15 years. We got back in in 2009. Uh, in 1980, we won the points championship in Nevada Speedway. My dad had won that in 1963, the same track. So you get back in 90. And then, so 1980, I, I won it. And then in, 19, in 2015, when we got back in, I won it again at, at that track. It was, that's pretty hard to explain uh, what it's like driving a, a dirt and late motor, which is what we've evolved to now. We're running what's called the Cash Money Super Dirt Series, which is a a late model series. We run a different track every week, and we get a week off or so in the summer. But uh, uh, hardest and the funnest thing I've ever done. Do you ever have any crashes? Anything? I talk never about? raced. I never raced here. No, no. Not some wood but, on. but I have crashed. Oh yeah, I rolled one, tumbled it down the front straightaway at Monad in nineteen in two thousand nine. In two thousand nine. Right out here. Right there. Yeah. Just a big bowl and yeah. a lot of people, spectator sport, big time. Yeah. yeah, you know, back then there wasn't as much to do as there yeah. is today. There was no internet. Right. And you so, actually went yeah. and watched stuff. Right. And, and What a concept. Yeah, there used to be a uh, concrete plant here, and that's where they got the water to water the track. Yeah. You know, little that. things like that. Uh, and you guys ran the track for a while? My dad and Doyle Snyder did. Yeah, of course, I was just a small kid, but... Uh, uh, I barely remember it, this track. I was a little, I remember being in the line waiting to get out of the parking lot, some little things Stuff like that. Like that. But I was pretty young, so I don't remember a lot of it. We're heading to Frontenac, you're quite active in Frontenac, you're on the school board. How long have you been doing that? Yeah, I grew up there, of course, because oh, uh, yeah. my, my mom lived in Frontenac. Uh, lived there my whole life. 
I ran for school board in 1994. 1994 is when I got elected to school. I'm still on there. Probably in my last term, but I'm still there. So you race, that's got to be a nerve wracking. You sell, that should be nerve wracking. You seem pretty peaceful and calm. Are you yeah. just over everything? Are you just, yeah, well, I. Were you ever a nervous kid trying to find your way, or were you always just doing what you love? Always doing what I liked. I think I, you know, got lucky, got married a good lady, my wife Lori, that, that, that makes big lucky. Difference. Lucky. I see guys having troubles like that, and I'm just a lucky guy. That's you know, awesome. Beautiful family and kids, uh, nieces and nephews that kind of lived with us for a while. Uh, really fortunate really fortunate uh, the racing side of it that's what makes you calm so what's your future look like as just a person a family man a businessman uh, well I can't I can't quit working if I don't quit racing <laughs> I've been real fortunate to have Randy Mister working for me for 20 some years yeah Randy's his dad was a Pittsburgh police officer Mark Mister oh really yeah he's, here's the firefighters yeah yeah he was retired from the Pittsburgh PD and then worked for the KBI as a as a fingerprint guy. Still lives here in town, so you know, you know they're from here as well. Uh, probably as good a help as I could ever have. It's really, really fortunate. Right down here by Colgan, they've really grown. I mean, they have. They've got quite a little. Right, they have. Set up. And they, they've got a good school too. You know, we're lucky to have three really good schools in this area. You and know, this and whole area right, right here was really cleaned up about right. 10 years ago. I remember when I got here. And really good decision to keep Hutchison Field. Oh, right. You know, and uh, of course the, the, the farmer's market's been a successful thing as well. Yeah, Watco's That's, really helpful with that. You know, no, Watco's been a really good company for Pittsburgh. And I can tell you, we rented this off at Watco when we first started, which we've been Rick's dad. And they've been really good to us over the years about taking care of us here. And uh, when his dad first started, they had a train to come through here. Oh, still? Yeah, then. And there's a, there a depot here and this and that that all got tore down. That's pretty cool, too. That's another side of that. Uh, done a lot for the community, Watco. Rick, Rick Webb specifically, you know, done a lot for the yeah, he's, yeah. A lot of the quiet, the quiet giving and making things yeah, happen. Never wants his name on it. Just does a lot of good things. Yeah, no question. Well, it's been a. Uh, I think I've been here ten years, and I think you've sold me at least two of my cars <laughs> and my mower, and yeah. serviced a lot well, more and given me good advice. And right. I know you're busy. We were trying to figure out a time to do this. We've been trying to schedule it for about three months, but I appreciate you taking time. And yeah. on behalf yeah. of everybody, just yeah. appreciate the sir. I mean. When I was, I need to buy a car, I want to buy it local. Everybody was like, you need to go see Mike. Well, that's good to hear. Said, that's good to we tried to treat everybody well. well. Yeah. Any parting advice for the Pittsburgh to grow, Frontenac, all of us? Keep, we just keep doing what we're doing, I think. Right? You You're know. going to be here. You've got this place yeah. in good hands. And, um, you know, if yeah. you need something, let us know. But thanks for everything. Oh, boy, there's the show. 50, 50 years this year. So. 50 years. Hey, brother. Thanks, I man. appreciate you.